This program was paid for by Water of Life Church. From Water of Life Ministries in Plano, Texas, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is speaking through his servants to the world. He that hath ears to hear, let him hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying today. Let us join Doyle Davidson and others of Water of Life, sowing the Word of God in spirit and in truth. Hello, I'm Doyle Davidson, servant, servant and apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ, ministering locally to the body of Christ in Dallas and Fort Worth, Texas, set by God to your house to declare unto you the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. First Corinthians 15, 3 and 4, tell us what the gospel is. How that Jesus Christ died by our sins, according to Scripture. He was buried. He rose again the third day, according to the Scripture. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. He's anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor, set me the ill, the broken hearted, preach deliverance to the captives, becoming of sight. To the blind, set at liberty, then that are bruised. The word is dying, even in your heart, in your mouth. There's a word of faith, which I preach. You will confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus. Believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead. You shall be saved with the heart, man, believe it unto righteousness with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ and as the power of God unto salvation. Everyone that believeth the Jew first, not so to the Greek, therein is the righteousness of God revealed in faith in faith <coughs> As it is written, just to live by his faith. Amen. Well, welcome everyone receiving this broadcast on live stream. Welcome other devices. Thank God to my black and cause Jerry Brown. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. And to my left. And goes Kathy Davidson. Good morning. Good morning. Thank God. Not the wire in Strasburg, Colorado. And Kathy Courier. Good morning. Good morning. Thank God. And in Middle Tennessee, Mount Julia, well, Cindy Barber. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. That we have the my girls on record. Let's hear them say. Thanks.
day, I was praying in the spirit. I got a hold of a spirit, I believe, in my lower right trunk. Amen. Amen. And I prayed. I felt the thing go from lower right quadrant to my up to my right side a ways that it crossed and went across to the left side maybe about my diaphragm and gave up and I went to sleep at a good night's sleep which I appreciate so do I <laughs> oh did you <laughs> drop that did I do that yeah what yeah Hey, hey, man. I notice it's got great heaviness on my upper arms, elbows, the sh through the shoulders. Hey, man. Hey, man. That guy. Really heavy. Are. Amen. That guy. Amen. I believe it's witchcraft that I'm being, um, that God is bringing out of me. Speaking basically, it was 13, 15. Thanking God. Amen. Thank God. Thank God. It doesn't seem to have an end. <laughs> Amen. But I certainly don't believe that. It's got to have an end. Everything has an end. Thank God. But for Several years, I've been praying witchcraft spirits out of me. Amazing how much they were in my feet, legs, hips, chest, arms. Amen. Grace. Grace, grace, and let me tell you, when they'd be coming out, they hurt like ripping, ripping flesh. Amen. But I wasn't there to stop because it hurt because I tried that once, start back up. The pain was still there, so I just said, go ahead and keep praying. It's got to stop sometime. And thank God it has, and this one is not hurting as it's minimal pain. Amen. I remember the testimony that you had years back when you were taking on different things in the spirit here in the ministry where there was a time that your legs hurt so much you couldn't even circle the building. That's true. That is true. And Paul said that 
in weariness and pain. And painfulness, yes. Right? Yes. I just wrote there to back about the weariness. I thought I'm going to say it. And I left all pain. <laughs> And now you remembered. <laughs> yeah. What? And you have been reminded. Yeah. <laughs> How quickly it comes back right. to you. Thank God. I'll tell you what, I'll share yesterday. You came home, we were having dinner last night at the kitchen, and you were um, troubled or, or a little bit, uh, I don't want to say irritated, but you were irritated. And you, you began to talk, and it wasn't very long. You changed that irritation to rejoicing. I did what? You changed the irritation to rejoicing. That's true. And things got lighter. Uh, frankly, I guess, irritated by these spirits that persecutors but in me. Amen. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. But let me say, I'm encouraged. Oh, what the world. Did I drop that? Keep a hold of it. Amen. I'm trying to decide what I want to do. What I want to say. But I think I've got to. And I decided I didn't want to. Some 45 minutes ago, but I think I've got to obey the Spirit of God and not be afraid. President Truman was born in Barton County. Barton County is the first county north of Jasper County. I was born in Jasper County. President Truman was instrumental in Israel being a country again. Is that right? Amen. Huh? Yes. His signature that recognized the state of Israel, there was a, a group I think that what the Knesset met for the first time and said, we are going to declare ourselves a nation. And when they did that, within moments, I believe, Truman came through and recognized them as a nation. And his signature basically sealed the deal. Well, and the significance of that, too, I mean, I didn't really understand this till I read a little bit, but, you know, Somebody can declare themselves a nation, but unless they recognize you, right. it doesn't matter what you call yourself. So for the United States to recognize them as a nation, that it really validated it. So that's why it was so important. President Truman had a, a lawyer, a friend that worked with him, I believe. I think he was on his staff from Fort Scott, Kansas. 
Mark Scott, North Pittsburgh, Kansas, Pittsburgh, North Joplin. I'm frankly reluctant to talk. Reluctance is normally fear. What's interesting, I was born maybe 30 miles from where President Truman was born. Then he, he goes to Independence up by Kansas City. But what I've got to obey God. <laughs> God chose a person. Send him <laughs> to the far corners of the earth to declare his word without fear or despair. That person is me. Ah. Uh, in May of 70, he said that, right? That's right. What, May 22nd? Well, God gave me six books. Amen. I researched the Bible. Amen. And researched it by the Spirit of God. And I read five books in the 80s and taught them and Water of Life Christian Training School. Amen. 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 Thank God I'm getting a little better. And the 90, God, well, I had 50,000 of those books printed. And I sent a lot of them to Zimbabwe and other places. Amen. Thank God. Jesus did the Father's will. He rose again. Amen. Gospel is always a blessing. Jesus on the cross. God's plan, reconciliation. They're all now translated in Hebrew. Is that right? That's right. Yes. Plus, what's the gospel? What is the gospel? Which was done in 97. Amen. 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 I'm working for Anyway. Today. 
we have through advertising on Facebook, is that correct terminology? Yes. Huh? Yes. Facebook and Instagram ads. And, and Instagram? Right. Which I <laughs> don't even know what it is. But, and we have <coughs> downloaded 3,800 Katie? 300, I think it's 3,870. 70? Yes. Um, of books in of, Israel. Of those books in Israel. In Hebrew. In, oh, in Hebrew. Hebrew. Advertised to Israel. <laughs> and if I can help just a little here we Please. have we haven't downloaded them Please help me. we have run the ads and that's how many downloads people have made from as a result of the ad they have downloaded the book thank you any terminology the way it should be said i trust you when you've never seen it at all it's a little hard to understand the concept of facebook and everything else it's, right. it's kind of hard for some of us to understand some things that can see it so <laughs> certainly if you've never seen it i never have and didn't know anything i operated and still don't amen but In addition to Israel, I should put it this way, including Israel, 26,500, is that right, Katie? Yes, 26,583. Books have been downloaded. Yes. Right? Yes, in all four of the areas that we have advertised them. And more than four. The four is the United States. In the United States, we've advertised in Texas, uh, California, Indiana, Tulsa, and Joplin. Then in the UK, uh, the British Isles, which is Britain and Ireland, and, uh, Wales, Scotland, the, the countries there. Israel, of course, and then South America, we have advertised in South America, Central America, and Mexico. Right. 26,000. Five, was it um, 583 books? And then downloaded. Downloaded. Is that proper terminal? Yes. Received. Yes. Now. <laughs> well, the. Neat thing about this is these are not books that we went and just handed out to people. These are people that chose to get it for themselves. Right. It, it's different than going and handing out a track or passing out free books because you don't know if they want it or not or what they'll do with it. But this is an ad that we run, and so people choose to, to download it. They choose for themselves that they want to consider it, get it, receive it. All right. God has prepared me from birth to be a prophet, a prophet and an apostle. But for this day, he said so. Right? Right. I'm a prophet and an apostle to Israel. And I just have to tell you, it is more than humbling that President Truman was instrumental in Israel becoming a nation 
Is that rubber? Yes. Is that right? Yes. Amen. Born in Martin County, County north of Jasper, and me born in Jasper, and God has sent, is sending the gospel to Israel through my ministry. Not boasting, but two born in southwest Missouri. God is used for his purposes. Amen. Bringing forth Israel. Amen. You made the statement this morning, and I think it really um, just states it very beautifully, but you said, the greatest miracle in my life is these books preaching the gospel going to Israel. Preaching the gospel in Israel. How could I say anything different? Well, you know, your sister who um, has, she, she and her husband have, are their leaders of a ministry in Israel, leaders of the Derek Prince Israel. Right. And so they're obviously very familiar with Israel and things that go on there and work that Christians might be endeavoring to do there. And um, and she even made the statement of, that this is God. When you told her how many books that um, had been downloaded in Hebrew there in Israel by people in Israel. And she... I don't remember exactly what she said. I know you do, but but she thought it was remarkable that she said, Doyle, this is God. Didn't she say something like that? Or She said, Doyle, God is using you. God is Amen. using you. There you go. Amen. So that's someone in there, familiar there, recognizing that. They've been directors since 2003. Well, I was going to do this about five years down the road. But God said, you're going to do it today. I think that's complete. What needs to be said, oh, starting Friday. Right. We're not done. That's right. Starting Friday. Uh, is that midnight? Midnight, midnight their time. In Israel. Huh? Midnight in Israel. Midnight in Israel. Well, well, it'll be 12 a.m., so that'll run all day Friday. Right. Right. And then all day Saturday and all day Sunday. Tell them what's happening. We're running God's plan of reconciliation in Hebrew, uh, advertising it to Israel all day Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 12 a.m. to 12 midnight, 24 hours, and three I'm days. Sure, we'll go over 4,000 books downloaded. Amen. And they will probably hit that Friday if we're at 3,800. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. I agree. Amen. Thank God. Thank God. Uh, are we ready to play some music? I'm ready to keep thanking God. Get this witchcraft out of me. Amen. Thank God. to the place, to the one who raised from 
the dead. Oh, come and see the risen King. For oh, he is our God and greatly to be praised. Come, let us worship the King. Come, let us worship the King. Jesus, the Savior, is Lord.
was dark in my heart. You brought light to me, a child of darkness became a child of light. And when my soul was so
lies Saying is no one worthy to go Oh, come, let us 
he that is in me Greater is he that is in me Greater is he that is in me Than he that is in the world Greater is he that is in me Greater is he that is in me Greater is he that is in me Than he that is in the world Satan's like a roaring lion Roaming to and fro Seeking whom he may devour The Bible tells me so Many souls have been his prey Caught in some weak hour But God has given us today His overcoming power Greater is he that is in me Greater is he that is in me Greater is he that is in me Than he that is in the world On that day of Pentecost A mighty rushing wind Blew into the upper room To baptize all of them With a power greater than Anyone had known And I'm so glad we got it too I wanna tell the whole wide world Now tell them with me Greater is he that is in me Greater is he that is in me Greater is he that is in me Than he that is in the world God is greater than the wisest man Greater than the power of sin Greater than the gates of hell Greater than anyone can tell Greater than the richest king Greater than anything Greater, oh greater Greater, yes greater Greater is he that is in me Than he that is in the world Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Mercy, grace, mercy, grace, mercy, grace. Be multiplied unto you. To the knowledge of God. Amen. Father, I thank you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. That you restore that which was the years that were eaten by the papa worm, canker worm, caterpillar, and locust. Amen. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you. Restoring the years eaten by the canker worm, papa worm, caterpillar, and locust. Thank God, Father, I thank you, Jesus, name, the amen, restoring, amen, years eaten by the papa worm, canker worm, amen, caterpillar, and locust. Thank God, God bless, amen. I quit. We invite you to visit Water of Life Church at 1621 18th Street in Plano, Texas. Or for further information, call us at area code 972-578-8082. That's 972-578-8082. Or write Doral Davidson at Post Office Box 941925. Plano, Texas, 75094. That's Doyle Davidson, Post Office Box 941925, Plano, Texas, 75094.
This program was paid for by Water.